Hi everybody, my first video entry is going to be how to use your Grand Calibre dies on the machine. First of all, I would cut a piece of wax paper to size. You don't have to use wax paper every time you use a die, but with more detailed dies with lots of holes in it's easier if you use some wax paper as this helps the actual cutting so first of all you need your paper that you're going to use followed by your wax paper then your die with the ridges facing towards your paper. Then if you use a piece of masking tape just to hold your die in place. Again with the middle one you line it up so it's got an equal space all around the outside and tape it into place. Then if you take your cutting mat and place your paper down onto it. So the blades or the ridges, they're not actually sharp, um, will be going into your cutting mat and then use your base plate over the top. Then use it through the machine. Sometimes you might have to do this a few times to get it to cut evenly. You can normally tell when you take off the cutting mat how well it's cut out. That one seems fine. So you've removed your cutting mat. Then you need to put your tan mat and your pink embossed board over the top. I always put a piece of paper over the top of my tan mat on this small one because for some reason the paper always gets stuck to the tanned mat. So to save your piece that you're cutting, just put a scrap piece over the top and put all that on. And again, whiz it through. Take them all off. Some of the pieces would just fall out by themselves. If you give it a quick tap, then you just need to remove the masking tape. Oh, that's come out altogether. And then just push everything through. If you haven't got a pokey tool, you can just use an, a pin or a cocktail stick. You don't need to have a special tool for this. You just need to be able to poke everything out. So that's nearly all done. And then just remove the wax paper and just poke out all of the bits. Like so. Just a bit clean on there. And then that's it. Now with this one it has little dots. If they've not 
all come out. You can either use your pokey tool again to stick through them or a pin. It's just as easy. And then that's that. So when you've finished with your die, always go back to it and push out all the pieces of paper so it's ready for the next time you need to use it. So you just have to literally poke your pokey tool through all the holes to make sure that it's empty. Because if you've got too much paper left in these it won't cut as easily next time so it's always best to get rid of them all and then afterwards I just store them on a magnetic sheet which I've stuck to card and it keeps them all safe and they don't go anywhere thank you for watching